Hello and welcome to another video here at Stanley Gibbons. I'm Oscar Young and I work in the auction department and today I thought I'd just show you a few highlights from our upcoming July sale which is happening on the 13th and the 14th of July. From amongst 1500 lots in our upcoming sale I have chosen five to just briefly talk about. So the first lot I thought we would examine is lot 89, and this is from British Guiana. Now this stamp is the sister stamp of the world's most famous and most valuable stamp, which is the British Guiana One Cent Magenta. Recently acquired by Stanley Gibbons for over eight million pounds. This stamp may not be as valuable as that, but is indeed a rarity and a classic in its own right. This is the four cent black on rose carmine. It's printed by the same people in British Guiana in 1856, the official Gazette newspaper as a provisional issue authorized by the local postmaster. So there were two values done. So you have the one cent, which was designed to pay the newspaper rate, which was only one cent. And then you have the four cent, which is this one, which was designed to pay the inland rate within British Guiana. Now, of course, all of these stamps due to the primitive nature of printing had to be countersigned to authenticate its use by the local postmaster. And again, this is a, indeed a very rare stamp. Being a rare stamp, it's been around the block, as you can imagine, and it's been passed through many collections over the years. And it is indeed a very beautiful, albeit primitive design. What sets this one apart from the, of course, the one cent, is that it's not as rare as the one cent. The one cent, there's only one of them in the world, whereas the four cent, there are a few others of these in the world. And this stamp in unused condition is currently unpriced in our part one catalogue. And it will be exciting to see the interest and competition when it comes up in the July sale. For the next lot, we are going to look to Burma. Lot 174 is one of the issues done during the 1940s when Japan occupied Burma during the Second World War. Now, during the war, they took control of all the postal authorities and overprinted on the stamps using a hand stamp this wonderful motif of a peacock. Now there are various different types of this peacock that exist. This particular one, this stamp, is the nine pies yellow green bearing the famous peacock of Henzada. And this is one of the scarcer types of this stamp bearing this hand stamp of the peacock. The reason why they did this was to obliterate the king's head adequately and a peacock being one of the national emblems of Burma, it was seemed a, a natural choice. Now, collectors are warned about purchasing Burma, Japok, or perhaps any of the other Japanese occupation issues as they have been extensively forged. Even as early as 1945, were these issues appearing on the market with forged peacock hand stamps. I'm glad to say, however, that this stamp is very much genuine and has the relevant certificates to prove it so. This stamp will make a fine addition to anyone building a King George VI or even Burma collection. It is indeed a very fine example of this rare stamp. For the next lot, we move away from the British Empire and we go to the United States of America. This is the 1910 Four Cent Orange Brown. Now, it looks like a fairly normal stamp, but actually it's printed on an experimental bluish rag paper. These were done in round about that time and then were kept for record purposes, I believe. And the third assistant postmaster general, it says that there were four, over 4,000 sheets of these four cent stamps printed on this bluish rag type paper. None of these was stamps were distributed officially. However, it is believed that uh, examples reached collectors' hands by the by unscrupulous nature of dealers and possibly even uh, exchanges by the back door of the printers. And these stamps have become legendary ever since. And of course, many people mistake this stamp for one which is the normal example of this stamp, which often appears in collections that we see all the time. But we can safely say this is the genuine article. This is the one. And indeed, this, for this American stamp, it's a major 20th century rarity and will make a fine addition to any American collector's collection. Lot 750 departs somewhat from stamps. And at the first glance, the bystander may think that it may have nothing to do with stamps, no relation whatsoever. 
but you'd be wrong. This is a very special medal. This medal, depicting a rather young Queen Victoria with the image of London Guildhall in the back, is known as the London City Medal and was engraved by William Wyon. In 1837, young Queen Victoria seated the throne and upon her first visit to the City of London, she was greeted to a magnificent banquet held by the Lord Mayor and hosted by the Corporation of London. The chap who engraved it, who we spoke about earlier, William Wine, was chief engraver of the Royal Mint, and he produced this wonderful image of Queen Victoria when she was quite young in preparation for the new coins when she was to exceed. And this design that was produced was later used by the engravers to create the image for the Penny Black. And we can show you now a real Penny Black compared to the the wire head and the, the, of course, the medal, and you can see the comparison. And the wire head was used on all the British stamps throughout Queen Victoria's reign. Now, this is a rare opportunity to acquire an important piece of philatelic history, and just 120 of these medals were struck in silver, and it is indeed a, a most beautiful, if unusual, addition to any Great Britain collection. And we are staying with Great Britain for our final lot of the sale, which is indeed a most spectacular item. This is the 1966 British Technology Sixpence Red, Blue and Orange vertical strip of four. However, this possesses an error, as the two middle stamps, which should depict this wonderful image of an E-type jag, is omitted. The blue, the dark, the blue ink ran out during the printing, thus resulting in a complete omission of these two stamps plus a portion of the E-type jag on the top one and on the foot only a partial omission, thus resulting, you can see the bottom half. Again, this is a most spectacular error and incredibly rare. A similar example as this with the marginal um, cylinder numbers sold in Seguin Bailey in 2005 and fetched £40,000. Whilst this example may not be worth the same money, it is indeed an exceptionally rare and spectacular error and would grace the pages of any Great Britain error collection. And Piron records just 24 mint examples of this amazing error. I hope you have enjoyed this video. And should you wish to inquire about any of the lots or any of the lots we featured in this video or any of the other lots in our upcoming sale, please get in contact through our website or email us directly at auctions at stanleygibbons.com or as always, you're more than welcome to visit us here at The Strand and we'd be happy to talk to you. Please, as always, like and subscribe for more Stanley Gibbons content.